Fresh and Famous Radio. Fresh and Famous, home of the fresh news and the famous interviews. Right now, we have this dude on the air, man. He inspired me to get a tattoo this weekend. Ryan Edge, what's the deal, Doc? What's up, man? Just here chilling. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. How was your weekend? Weekend was cool. Uh, I did uh, a couple photo shoots and uh, just got back from the dub show in L.A. Yeah, how did that go, awesome. man? Like, I heard you were working today. Like, you were working really hard today. Yeah, yeah it was cool. I was, uh, I don't know, I just met a lot of people. Uh, I mean, it was awesome because, like, so many people just knew me from Instagram and it was pictures and everyone was nice. Um, I was uh, hanging out at a booth that uh, has a sponsor of mine on uh, Melrose. Melrose, and cool. We we're, we we're, were just chilling and hanging out and... I met a lot of cool people, so it was awesome. Doc, isn't Melrose, like, so chill? Like, that's the best part of California, going on Melrose. I like Melrose. How many, time, how many times have you been there? Do you go there, like, pretty often, Melrose? Yeah, I get I get tattooed at a tattoo shop there uh, called Through Your Skin. And, yeah, I go there and just chill because it's way less. I live in Hollywood Boulevard area, yeah. so uh, oh, less hectic. It's people are more chill there. Well, uh, Cocaine Katie wants your address, I think. So you gotta you gotta let her know what's going on because she um the ta- the you know, tattoo she, shop? no your address dog like your address your oh, wow. home address the home that you receive mail. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to put that out there right now, but no, you'll have racing fans coming all day. Racing fans, dog. How many tattoos do you have? Um, I lost. I don't know. They're just all connecting, so it's like I lost track. Hey. Oh, is that your little? Is that your little Chihuahua? Yeah. Uh, Autumn. <laughs> Autumn's going crazy right here. We're out. I'm outside just chilling. He's part of the interview too, man. You got to put him on the air too. He's a part of the interview as well. <laughs> he was actually one of. He was actually honestly. He was actually one of the reasons why you're on the show. Like, I guess because you know fans were feeling it and they're just like you know interview this guy right here, Ryan Edge. Like they forwarded to me, me to you because you're Chihuahua and you of course. Yeah, I mean it's us. It's like it's just me and her. Like we're just like a little duo. Like that's I don't know we just click and people seem to enjoy that like you can be all tattooed and not have to have a pit bull you know yeah right yeah Ryan yeah. do you, Ryan do you uh drink or smoke no I've been sober uh I I tried it when I was younger but I've been sober since 2005 wow dog that's the crazy thing is like it can be people who are like super tatted. You know, like, from the neck down, the face down, however you want to put it. And, like, not smoke or drink. And they look, like, the hardest in the club. You know what I mean? Like, isn't that trippy? I, mean, I get stereotyped, like, you must be fucked up. Or, like, you know, like, really messed up to, like, do, to, to get all the tattoos. And I'm just like, nah, I mean, I'm just over. I don't know. I just like to I keep a straight mind, you know? Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. what what would you say your statement is true about tattoos? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Like, what do you, like, I mean, what do you, like, you know how they say, you know, if you have tattoos, they assume that you drink or smoke, and you were just like, nah, no, it's not. What would you say is, like, a true statement or a, a stereotype about uh, men with tattoos? A good stereotype or a bad stereotype? Either one, good or bad. You're more of like Animal, you're, you're right? more you're more of like you're just you know you love life like live life to the fullest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I feel you, dog. Right I feel you. I feel oh, you. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Cocaine, Katie. What questions do you have, my love? Yes, I was wanting you to explain to us as well as all of your fans what exactly is straight edge and how does it represent you as a person? Straight edge. All right. Um, it's just it started back in the eighties, and uh, it was from a band started it and uh, I don't know just kind of progressed now it's like still around 
mm-hmm. it's not as heavy as it was, but it was mostly in like the hardcore music scene, which mm-hmm. is where it started. But like, I'm kind of taking it out to like being everyday, not, you can be involved in the music too, or you can just be straight edge and be sober, no drinking, no smoking cigarettes, and no drugs. Hmm. Right, so it's just for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What do you play, Doc? What instrument do you play? A guitar? I, I sang, sang in a band for five years when I was like nice. 15 to 20. That's dope. Yeah. That's it was dope. cool. It was a good part of my life. Is that something you would still be interested in doing? Are you pursuing singing? No. Uh, I was, it was... It has time. I mean, I had fun. I got to travel. I got to ride in the, the, the bands and, and go to different cities and play for people. I had my own little fan base band, like, the people that liked my, my music. It was yeah. fun. It was just part of my life. Now it's like my next step is what I'm doing now with my dog. And Yeah, just, Katie. Yeah, Katie, why would you... You know it's all about his dog and his tattoos. That's also going to attract the chicks, <laughs> not just the, the singing. You know, everybody you know. has hidden secrets, you know? Uh-huh. Maybe he'll pull out a song one day and throw it out there for the fans. All I know is that I have at least a week until I catch up with Ryan Edge, man. I got I got another tattoo this weekend, but I still need to, you know, like, get on your level, dog. Like, I feel like, you know, like, if me and you were to kick it, like, you know, at a bar, like, you would take all my chicks. That's how I feel. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty shy. I mean, I'm, I don't, I don't, like, girls always say that, like, cause I just kind of keep quiet. I don't really, like, try to be center of attention. Hmm. So I think he might win, so. That's what's up. That's what's up. But I know they come up to you like, oh, you know, let me check out your ink. Let me see what you got. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> girls do that. Fire. Sometimes it's weird. Sometimes they touch the face and it's awkward. <laughs> I was uh, speaking of like, what are the tattoos on your face, man? Because I seen like the lipstick and the um, you had some other stuff too. Didn't you just get like a a, a cupcake tatted on your face? Yeah, I got a cupcake because I thought it'd be fun, honestly. And people always give me a hard time about it, but you know what? Just live, I mean, I'm they give you a hard time. Nothing. It's not that serious. It's not yeah, like you got like a big ass ice cream, you know, on your eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that, but. Uh, <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Straight edge. That's what I like about you, man. Showing love right here. So, um, Katie, what else do you got to ask him, man? I know you got all these questions. You were like, Katie, I'm going to tell you this. Cocaine Katie was like prepared for you, dog. Like she took two weeks to write the questions down. She was like, you know what? I'm feeling them. Like I like his ink work. So this is your number one fan right here, dog. Of course. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. Um, with what you just said, going along with that, due to how people come up to you, what are some of the craziest encounters you've had, like, with reactions for people, you know, asking you about your ink work? Like, all random people on the street? Yeah, like, have you, ever, have you ever had anybody just, like, say something completely off the wall or have anybody be, um, like, dismissal towards your ink work and speak on no. it? One time only, one girl was walking out of and she was like, your face is, like, screwed up. She yelled at me. No, It was some crazy, yeah, it was, it was a girl. Of you should have gave her the backhand, dog. She, like, kind of, like, went quick. But that was the last time I went in. I get group crashes and I get, mostly when I'm out, I mean, people want to have a long conversation with me. I, hmm. I'm a nice person, so I chat with them for a little bit and then say, hey, I got to go. Because they're just going to keep talking and talking. It's mostly the, the people that I meet are at night, which they've been drinking. Mm. So they, they're just they're just wanting to chat forever, and they just give me high fives like eight times. I don't know if you've been like in that situation, but pretty awkward to like keep shaking hands because they keep forgetting that they shook your hand. Right. Mm. So yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Let me ask you this, man: Do you go for the the black women or the white women? Which ones do you like? Um, I don't know. Hey, stop barking. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't really, I like them all. The I've chihuahua said, the chihuahua me. barked. It was like, black. <laughs> he answered the question for you. <laughs> she answered. But yeah, I, I, so I, I, I'm, I don't know. Anything. I mean, I'm not, I, I mean, I 
know, like, you choose it's whatever, whatever clicks. Definitely. Definitely. Here's another question I have, bro. What what tattoo um, that's on you uh, means the most to you? Which tattoo on you has, you know, the most meaning towards you? A tattoo? Yeah. Only my first tattoo, which is uh, three X's on my arm, which is a straight edge tattoo. Nice. It was my first tattoo. I got my mom took me when I was 18. And uh, yeah, she drove me out there, and I was so excited. And all my friends, you know, I got this big tattoo, <laughs> even though it's Really isn't that big now, but <laughs> crazy, 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 crazy. Ryan Edge right here, Fresh and Famous Radio, Cocaine Katie, Radio Host J.O. Hit us up on RadioHostJO.com. Ryan Edge, man, just go ahead and, you know, let us know what do you have going on for this year, dog? Like, you know, I see you shining. I see you doing, you know, so much moving around and everything. What's up your sleeve for, uh, especially this summer, too? Um... Right now, uh, I'm just working on the website, my website, and it's like me and my dog. Like, we got shirts coming out, we got the skateboards, uh, we got a ton of new posters that we're going to come out with, and uh, I'm getting into like some reality stuff. That's my ultimate goal, mm-hmm. like to get into to look, to look how I look with all the tattoos and do some some reality stuff, and then maybe I want to reach out and do uh, some charity stuff with animals and uh, children, which kind of goes together. So uh, I want to do some, like, speaking in schools. I'm getting some help on that. Because uh, I want to, like, inspire people to let, you know, let them know that you can look how I look and not be, you know, a bad person. That's so cool, so, dog. Like, and, do you, and do you bring your dog, like, to all these meetings and, you know, like, conferences sure. and everything like that? Do you bring your do you bring your dog, too? Yeah, most they request. Most they said I bring her, so it's pretty cool. Nice. And she's well-behaved, so, yeah, she goes everywhere. Nice. Nice. Tour on the world, Ryan Edge. That's what's up, man. Fresh and Famous Radio, we're going to close it down. Just let us know real quick where we could contact you at for all information and updates and, you know, if we want to check out the new ink work. Um, my website, uh, www.ryanxedge.com, and my uh, Instagram, which I'm mostly on, uh, it's Instagram at uh, ryanxedge. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Let's conquer the world. Cocaine Katie, radio host J.O. Cocaine Katie, don't start tripping over there. <laughs> you, got, you, guys got, you guys got definitely got to keep in touch, man. Like, I would love to see you two hang out together. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Fresh and Famous Radio, we are out of here. Nice talking to you, bro. Yeah, you too.